Hey folks, welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to do a quick video. It's it's kind of a update video, just of uh, some things that I had done. Uh, if you saw my review of my Soul Commander and my uh, Sand Infantry from Acid Rain, you'll see how much I like the figure, but how much I was disappointed in the hands. And doing a little re more research, talking to a couple more folks, it it just wasn't my set of hands that uh, had the problem. It looks like it's a, a release problem. But um, I, I'm not here to rant about the issue. I'm disappointed that I spent that much money and ran into a problem. That's my only really point. Um, and, a, and a lot of people that purchase their figures, they want to open them, they want to display them, and they want to be proud of them, like them. They don't want to run into issues uh, that has to be fixed or that needs to be fixed just because of uh, cosmetic problems. They just want to open them and display them, and which I don't blame them 100%. They don't want to spend the time to uh, fix a problem. But I'm fortunate, I'm fortunate that I customize. I have things on hand. I, I, uh, I just want to show you how I fix my problem with the uh, these particular hands. So... Marauder Task Force has obviously their website. You hear me rant and rave about them. Great product, great accessories. Uh, and I purchased some hands, and I'm about to purchase some more hands. And their hands are casted in the plastic of the, the color of the plastic that they use. So you don't run into an issue in regards to uh, paint chipping. You can buy it in white. You can buy it in green. You can buy them in black, orange, you name it yellow you can buy the hands in that particular color and not run into a problem so that's how i'm fixing and going to fix uh these problems that i have with the uh, hands on so this this was a soul commander you saw my video turned him into a uh a military marine infantry style figure but this is how my soul commander hand after five minutes of handling happened and as you can see they're very rubbery all i did was put a gun in there and that was the effect right there so incredibly disappointed um but i have the ability to fix it fortunately but like i say a lot of people you know they don't they don't have the materials and they don't have the time honestly so what i did is obviously i popped this one out and i got myself a marauder's hand so that's what I went ahead and did. So here's the Soul Commander hand and here's the Marauder hand. But the original Marauders, their peg is a lot longer than the Soul Commander. So all you have to do is measure the peg, trim it to size. And this Marauder hand fits perfectly. It's nice and snug. And it pops right in without issue most of the time, but it'll pop right in. But it's because everything's rubber. So if you heard that pop, pops in, you got nice movement, not much of a size difference. It looks awesome. And you don't run into that uh, paint rub issue at all. So that's what I did on this particular guy. That's what I'm going to do on this guy. But I got to find the right color hands for him. So, like I say, great figure, nice, cosmetically, looks good, until you throw a gun in his hand and all the paint comes off. So, that's my fix. So, I just wanted to share with you guys, if you're interested and you have that problem, that is an option. Uh, I'm sure other hands probably could be an option, but the Marauders, one little trim, and it fits perfectly. And, and it does pop right back out. With, with a little force and it pops right back in with a little force so you don't have a problem with the hand falling out really at all okay so i just wanted to share that tip with you guys that is a option that is uh i don't like displaying my uh my figures with a whole bunch of paint rub especially one that i paid a lot of money for okay you can understand a custom a little more than a professional figure but that's just how i went ahead and fixed it okay guys Hope this helps uh, anybody, and uh, you guys have a good one.